Okay, so our learning target today is I can do my best to understand how energy is transferred. So we're just looking for some understanding here. And the only key term we're really reviewing is what an energy transfer is. It's energy moving from one object to another or energy moving from one object, one area to another area in that object. All right? So just like that Newton's cradle, we had energy being transferred from this part of the pendulum to here to here and all the way to the other side that made the other ball go out. And then it goes back and forth in that manner. And then here we have that hot pan on the stove. And not only is heat going to, you know, it starts off heating the bottom and then if it's on long enough it can go all the way up to that handle. So ouch, that can hurt. Also, it's going to transfer into whatever's in the pan, right, to cook it. Um, second, you observed the balls bouncing alone. You made your predictions. All right, you observed the balls bouncing together. You answered the questions. Now, this is where you are, watching the video about energy transfer diagrams. So, we are learning about a new diagram today called an energy transfer diagram. And the one thing you want to remember about it is it's squares or rectangles and arrows. So first, you make, I kind of set mine up first. All right, so we have one part of it, and you draw your arrow, and you have your other part. This is always your point of contact. So basically when they hit each other, what, which energies transfer to the other side? So we're at point of contact. All right. So we are looking at the basketball and racquetball. So if this is the basketball, and this is the racquetball, which energy mainly, all right, we're keeping this easy. You can definitely um, argue a lot of points that other energies are transferred, but we're really trying to keep it simple and we're keeping it to the energies that we've learned about so far. So which energy has been transferred from the basketball to the racquetball? Mainly. So if you looked at the racquetball, well what happened in the basketball? When we bounced those balls together, the basketball didn't go as high didn't bounce as high as it did when it was alone. The racquetball bounced higher than when it was bounced alone. So that tells us that if it went higher, there's motion involved, right? So the energy that was transferred, if there's motion involved from the basketball to the racquetball, is kinetic. Right? And this is what an energy transfer diagram looks like. So this was the video. Now you're going to put that knowledge to the test. You're going to watch, uh, you know, really these two videos, they do the same thing. One's just, they're just a little different in terms of viewing. One's a little bit more high tech. But they do the same idea. You know, I think the second one's not exactly a cue ball and an eight ball. But they're billiard balls, okay? And note, so I tried to link them in here, but if you can't access them, I also posted them just, you know, under the assignment in Google Classroom as separate links. So you have the cue ball and the eight ball. You're going to watch those videos. According to the video, an energy transfer diagram, which is right here, which type of energy is transferred from the cue ball to the eight ball? Okay. And then you're done. Oh, so good luck.